The upgrade from .NET 9 to .NET 10 for your .NET MAUI projects is already pretty easy. But what if I told you it can be even easier and you can do it while sitting back, hands off the keyboard, while sipping your coffee? That's right, updating your .NET MAUI project from .NET 9 to .NET 10 has never been easier because now, these days, it's 2025, we're going to use Copilot, you guessed it. Um, so we've been preparing a set of instructions that you can feed into Copilot that has all the steps in there that it needs to take to upgrade your .NET MAUI project from .NET 9 to .NET 10. And you don't have to do anything. You can read through it. It's human readable. If you're like, I hate AI, I can hardly imagine. I hate AI, I want to do it all manually. You totally can just use that same document. But the real power here is to feed that into Copilot um, together with your project and it will update all these things for you. So it will at the very least know that it needs to update the target frameworks in your um, CSProj file, right? From the net nine to net 10. Um, and then it will go through a list of like, hey, this is something you must fix. We remove the messaging center, right? So we need to replace that if you're using that in your code base. And it's going to be instructed to replace that with the weak reference messenger from the MVVM toolkit. So that's something that we must fix if Copilot encounters that. And then the next thing is like, hey, we have a bunch of APIs that we now mark as obsolete for the media picker changes, for, uh, for example, or the list view. So it's probably good to start migrating those, right? And then we have some things that are not necessarily right now, but you know, it's good to kind of like get ahead of the game. Let's just hop over to my screen share and let's see what this is all about. Okay, so here we are. We are starting in the browser this time, and I will make sure that this URL is also in the video description, aka.ms slash Maui dash 10 dash upgrade, right? You want to go there. And whenever we do, we're going to go to a GitHub repository, uh, which is the Maui samples, which is full of great samples of all the Maui stuff that we have. If you have a sample that you want to put there, definitely do. Um, if you have a suggestion, please let us know. But also these co-pilot instructions are right here. We also put them in another repository that I quickly want to show you, which is github.com slash github slash awesome dash copilot. There is lots of instructions and chat modes and all kinds of cool stuff, not just for Maui, but for any kind of scenario, basically. So very, very cool stuff if you like the copilots and the AI. This will save you a ton of work. Okay, but we're focused on the Maui one, and this is upgrading from .NET Maui 9 to .NET Maui 10. There we go. And it has a table of contents. So again, this is human readable, right? You can go through it if that's what you want. You can at least inspect it and kind of like skim through it to see if it doesn't do anything crazy. You can kind of like enhance it to be something more specific to your project, right? But the very basics are like a, a Maui project period, right? And the breaking changes that we did. So. Here you can see like quick start, upgrade the target framework to .NET 10, um, update the community toolkit.maui because we know the older version is not going to work anymore, fix the breaking changes because we have that message in center, P0, priority zero, must fix, um, migrate list view, table view to collection view, critical, um, fix the deprecated APIs like animation methods, display alert, we renamed those, nothing like major happened there, but we renamed those. And the cool thing is you don't need to actually do anything for it. This will just do it for you. It will give you some code examples, um, Linux compatibility, right? You're maybe are like, nah, I don't care about Linux. There are definitely some people who are very passionate about Linux and you can today target um, .NET MAUI Android apps while developing on Linux, right? So you can do that, which becomes increasingly more important when you are using Copilot because a lot of that stuff runs on Linux containers, especially if you're doing it inside of like GitHub um, and you just let it run in the cloud in GitHub um, and it can now build it on Linux. It can and verifying the changes it makes to some extent, right? Because it can build this Android target on Linux. So it might be good to add that to your project if you don't have that right now. Um, critical NuGet package updates, uh, breaking changes must fix. So it kind of like says like, hey, this is what you don't want to do. This is what you do want to do, right? To kind of like feed Copilot with the very concrete instructions of like, do this, but not that, right? So this goes on and on and on and on. It's like super verbose, super long. Um, you can just take that here, copy raw file here in the top right. And we can go into Visual Studio Code. 
I did it in Visual Studio Code. You can do it in Visual Studio 2026, um, probably some other IDEs and editors if that's what you want, but I did do it with this. And for just to show you this, um, it isn't really about the app or the project necessarily, but to just show you this, I did a file new Maui project with the sample content. So that will give you like the full new um, developer balance uh, application. This is just in the templates. You can use that to kind of like poke around and do, hey, what can .NET Maui do? But this is a fully featured app that we kind of like use for benchmarks, for demo purposes, and for this kind of stuff, right? Um, and you can say, whenever you do .NET New, you can say, I want to do that with .NET 9, right? So I created a .NET 9, although I'm on .NET 10, just so I have a project to kind of like update here. So you can see it here in the, on the left, all the files, all the things. Um, let's create a new file right here, and I'm going to paste the instructions in there. Oops, did I do it twice? Let me do that again. Uh, paste the instructions in here, just so I have it somewhere. You can point it to the direct URL if that's what you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, I just like to have it here. And we can pop open the Copilot pane, right? It's already waiting. Build with agent. AI responses may be inaccurate. Um, always keep that in mind. Um, and I can just now say, hey, you can choose the agent and the model that you want to use with this, right? If you have a favorite model, if you have your own custom model, you can just do that. Um, and I can say, hey, using... Um, what do the the instructions in actually I'm in front here so let me whoops I'm I'm uh, let's do it like this okay I'm a professional I know what I'm doing um, so here using the instructions in um, hashtag whoops and then I need to go up for you untitled one right because it's in a new it's in a new file so this is called untitled one uh, you can see that right here that's fine um, you can you can save it you can do something if that's what you want um, Please update my project in hashtag code base so it knows where to kind of like look for um, following the guidance and update my Maui project from .NET 9 to .NET 10. Doesn't really matter what's in here, just the instructions should be kind of like good enough. Uh, so let's send that away. And now Copilot is going to just do that for us, right? Um, so let's just see optimizing tool selection. I got a bunch of tool installed, so it's going to look for that. Um, let me just, I think I can pop this somewhere else. Let me just make this full screen. There we go. I should have done that earlier, so I'm not in the way. Um, I'll help you upgrade your .NET MAUI project from .NET 9 to .NET 10. Let me start by examining. Search for Messaging Center. It's going to look for, hey, is the Messaging Center there? Uh, do we have the list view, the table view, the display alert? Am I using any of that? It's going to read. It's going to create a bunch of to-dos, right? So it scanned my code, and it's going to give me a bunch of to-dos that you can see right here. It knows to update my target framework. It knows that it needs to update the community toolkit because we have a reference to that in this project as well. Update display alert to display alert async. Review and document is busy usage. and build and verify um, project uh, compiles because it's running locally. I have everything installed to kind of like build uh, .NET MAUI projects because that's what I do. So it's able to kind of like build that and verify that all the changes um, that it made are actually valid and that it's still built, right? You always have to still check kind of like, does it do the thing I expected to do on runtime? Do all of your tests and your pipeline and everything. I'm sure that you got that all set up. Um, but this will help you kind of like do the heavy lifting. And if you do this on kind of like a Git branch, right? If you just, which you probably have, right? You, you just have this Git repository. Um, just make sure that it's like clean, up to date, separate branch, so you don't mess with anything else. Um, just run these changes and you can see exactly in the diff, like, hey, it made this change. Do I agree with that? Does that seem to make sense? Um, and you can kind of like inspect all the things that it's going to do here. Um, the copilot just, you know, ran a terminal command to um, see if it can build the changes that it made. So it popped back from full screen to kind of like the pane to the right here. It's going to do .NET restore .NET build, you can see. I'm not doing anything. And it's going to verify if the update that it made um, actually works and builds. So again, it's not really about the app. I'm not even going to build it or show it to you. Um, you can do that um, by yourself. It's a nice, nice example for you at home. But this is how easy it can be to update your .NET MAUI project from .NET 9 to .NET 10 without even touching the keyboard, right? I, I barely touched the keyboard. Are you a fan of Copilot? Are you using this? Have you used it? Did you update to .NET 10? Let me know down in the comments if you ran into anything. We've been hearing from customers that the update has been pretty smooth. Um, so please let me know down in the comments what you want to learn about .NET 10 for .NET MAUI or what else you want to learn, of course, about Copilot AI and all that kind of good stuff. Speaking of which, I have a video about something really cool that is now in .NET 10, which is XAML source generation. And you should definitely check that one out. Check it out. Check it out right now. I'll see you for that one.